Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. It's Monday morning, or late Monday morning, almost Monday afternoon. I've got work this afternoon and I'm going to be knocking a shave on the head. I've got two days growth. I haven't had two days growth now for quite some time. And I'm going to be using a cream which I haven't used once again for quite some time. And that is Art of Shaving Lemon Essential Oil. Now, it's brush or brushless. This is one of my favourite scented sort of citrusy scents. It's almost like a sort of lemon whipped cream. It's oh, I get a little lemon frosty sugar, uh, frosted icing. It's really, really nice. Now, as you can see there, it is a false bottom tub. It is a bit deceiving, you get this huge tub, but it's nowhere near that amount of cream in this tub. But you still get five fluid ounces of cream, which is a reasonable amount of cream. The only thing is with this stuff, now I got this as part of a trade or someone sent me it, I cannot remember but it's quite expensive for what it is. So what I'm going to do is wet my face. And then what I do is wet my brush. The brush for today is once again the Envy Shave Abalone, which is one of the nicest brushes in my den. If not, in fairness, probably the nicest looking brush. The knot is absolutely beautiful. It's a 24mm or a 25mm black wolf knot. I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure what the what kind of knot it is, if I'm honest. I'm just going to flick out most of the excess water, just so the tips sort of look a bit like that. And then all I do is I just literally just dunk it in, get a big gob of cream on there. And then I just paint it on and away we go. The process for this cream is the exact same for me as it is with every cream and soap. Paint it on, paint the water in until it goes translucent. Splay the brush and away you go. Now this is an excellent performing cream. I've never had an issue with it. It's always done a great shave. doing now is just painting some water in, just little dips at a time. I can already feel the brush starting to loosen up just from those two little dips. I've just noticed the TV behind me is quite loud, so I do apologise. I would go and turn it off, but I can't be else. I'll turn it down, should I say. So as you can see, it's starting to go translucent now. You can see through to the skin. It's not quite there yet, but it's getting there. Far too much cream. Right, I think I'm one more dip away. Last one. Now 
Now, as you can see, it's pretty much translucent everywhere. On my neck, on my cheeks, everything. So the brush now should have enough water in there to just splay. And the ladder should instantly start growing. Which as you can see, it is. Now this one took a little bit longer. I did put too much cream on the brush. As you're about to see, it will make a phenomenal ladder. Now, yes, art of shaving is very expensive when compared to sort of sterling and things like that. But it is a very good performing cream, I can't shoot it down. Need I say more? So that was without adding any more water. It's probably just a touch on the dry side, just a touch, but I think it'll be absolutely fine. So the blade for today is the Persona Vintage Blade. These ones are made in Glasgow between the 40s and 60s, 1940s to 1960s. And I've got that once again in the carve razor, which is the only razor I use. And here we go. Seventh use on this blade. just cannot nail this part of my neck. Every now and then I get it sort of spot on. But it's more of a fluke than anything else. Me off. Right. Now that is incredible residual slickness. Now part of the reason it's like that is because it was a little bit drier than normal, I didn't have it quite as wet, so there's quite a lot of the actual residue on there. So here we go. Let's get this onto the chin. Lather number two. I'm just gonna dip the tips lightly.
cannot grumble with that ladder. You really can't. Right, cross the ring. really really great cream if you like to buff yeah it's just excellent stuff let's see if they were able to really work on the pricing I think it would appeal to so many more people and it would definitely be something that I highly recommend to people but unfortunately at the price point, which is I think it's around about 40 bucks or something, it might even be more than that if I'm honest. For one soap, for one cream, it's it's just not worth it in my opinion for that amount. It's a bit, a bit along the lines of like Martin de Condre. Now I'm not putting them in the same ballpark, but this is really good stuff. Yes, it's not going to last anywhere near as long as Martin de Condre. Is a sort of mass produced product as well, I believe. Now, over here in Australia, there is actually a company with the exact same branding, exact same tubs, exact same labels, exact same everything with a different name. I can't for the life remember what it's called, but it's really expensive over here. I can actually buy Art of Shaving from the States for cheaper shipped, shipped to Australia than I can buy this stuff over here. Now, I haven't used any other art shaving products in terms of balms or aftershaves or anything else that they've got. But the cream is really good stuff. And if you can get it in a buy sell trade, you can get it in somewhere like TK Maxx. then by all means grab it if you can get it for a great price. You won't be disappointed, I can assure you. There are very few people out there that would use this cream and be disappointed with it. I mean, that's incredible. Really slick, really protective, voluminous lather. With, it's just excellent stuff. And that residual slickness, wow. From the very first ladder to now, it hasn't got it hasn't got more because I don't think it could actually get any slicker. It's just great stuff.
haven't done is check the ingredients list just to see how sort of good they are. But I find with these sort of mass produced creams similar to Dreadnought or Bluebeard Revenge, whatever it's called in your respective country, they tend to use the big chemical words, which I've got absolutely no idea what most of them are. But a lot of those big chemical words are generally a lot of the times just harmless products that they just put a flash word on it. Rinsing the brush out. Beautiful. Dry my face. Now I have to be honest and say I cannot remember for the life of me what the post shave feels like but we shall see in a second. I've got nothing else to rinse it. Uh, oh, it's, it's all right. It does feel reasonably moisturized. I have to say it doesn't feel dry or anything, but it doesn't feel as nice as it does with some of the other products that I've used lately. But it's certainly moisturized. It is starting to dry in now and leave a bit of moisture. It was a little bit tacky. Showing that there is some moisture that has actually been retained, which is good. I am going to finish off, however, I seem to be using this scent more and more because most of the stuff I've got in my den matches this better and it is Moil Grooming Franken Lime Aftershave Frosted version which is mentholated One, two, three, three splashes Whew, What a scent! Take that lovely boom of the, al of the alcohol straight away, just that little zing with the alcohol, a little bit of burn. And straight after it, you can feel the sort of warmth of all the other ingredients working on your skin. And then just this whoosh of ice cold menthol. And it is a cracking amount of menthol, it really is. My skin is ice cold right now. So, I mean, certainly that's a lovely shape. Ooh, it's getting in my eyes, it's that strong. It really is a great amount of menthol. Pretty much a spot on amount for me. It might be too much for others. But that is me done and dusted. And today it was out of shaving lemon essential oil. In fact, you know what? There's absolutely no ingredients on this tub, surprisingly enough. Quite amazed by that. So it's actually made in London. So no doubt there'll be another company in London called something else, I don't know. Or it's probably called out of shaving and that's where it started in London. Pushy fuel with this oil grooming is phenomenal. The brush today was the Envy Shave Abalone brush, which is absolutely beautiful. It really is. I cannot say enough about this brush and what it looks like and how it feels. Absolutely, pretty much perfect knot in there for my preference anyway. Lovely and soft, just enough backbone. Not much scrub, but really nice. I do have very sensitive, wimpy skin. And the car razor today with the uh, vintage persona blade made in Glasgow and finished off today with Moil Grooming Frankenline which is, I mean that's ice cold and it stays cold for a while the scent on the Frankenline doesn't last long but it's amazing stuff anyway, you guys stay safe drive safe don't drink and drive I'll catch you guys in the next one fuck my memory's fucked see you later